Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to the band Love Bites. I have not heard them before. What I do know is they are a heavy metal band from Japan. So today, we are going to be watching a live performance of their song, Holy War. Here we go. loving this oh it's like oh what is it called organized chaos is that it's like it feels so chaotic and so like exciting and thrilling with these instrumentals but it's all very much like contained and like where it needs to be in the midst of this chaos which I really love um vocally we're going back she gave me this slight sort of like um, her vocals reminded me of like almost like punk vocals to start very very beginning and then as she like continued singing it just like opened up and blossomed and like she's got this incredible fullness in her sound that I adore but I also love and you guys know this like anytime I hear like just a lot going on in the instrumentals I think it is so fun when like the melodic line is just like sailing right above it and that's what I'm getting from this like very incredible contrast between the two. So we're going back. Um, here we go. I think uh, the word was raise. I'll have to look up the lyrics, but um, you can hear how she like flipped into her mix there. just gorgeous breath control the way she like is going into these higher notes it's just so seamless so well supported um and yeah cool as a cucumber um let me back it up
I like how she's allowing a little bit of that vibrato to come in. It's, uh, it's such a cool sound because I feel like you could take that voice and like picture it in so many different uh, genres of music. Like even at one point, it's got like sort of like a, a gorgeous Broadway belt sound to it. And then of course, like I mentioned punk before, but it just like, it's so, mm, it's so well-rounded. I just, yeah, love it. We're, we're gonna keep going. like there um let me play that again i like the meter change there let me go back Back. I don't know if that was a meter change, but it, they made it feel like it with, I think they were coming on, uh, coming in on the second beat as opposed to the downbeat. But um, this change right here, I just, I love the variety that I feel like you get from a lot of metal music um, and rock music. I mean, really anything that's not a ballad, I suppose, but like to give that like thrill and that sort of um, surprise, I just, I love the change and I love that it gives you the opportunity. Like if I were at a concert like this, like, yeah, I could like jump up and down for a bit, but then also I can just like groove a little when they, when they slow it down for you. I just, I just think it's so lovely when artists do that, not only for themselves, but also for their listeners. It's just, I don't know. I like it. Ah, let me go back. That note. I love that sound of hers. Like, yes, it still has that fullness, but it's got a little bit more forward placement so that, like, we're getting more head resonance and it's obviously still just, like, beaming out like the sound is gorgeous it's just the tiniest difference so that it like makes those notes easier for her
cool. I love that they featured the the guitarists. I love the duet between them at the end. I can't even. I, uh, and I also love vocally. It gives their singer just a bit of a break, which it's nice to like highlight your skilled musicians and also give rest where it's needed. So like everyone, everyone wins. She goes into her mix up there. Also, I love the legato. Again, her phrasing, her breath control, it's just so effortless. I'm sure it's not, you know, I'm sure she like worked very hard to build that, but like to us, it just seems like so easy and it's so beautiful to hear. Let me go back a little. Bit. <laughs> I'm just having the best time hearing these bands with this exciting, sometimes intense, sometimes just very energetic music and how their vocalists like remain unaffected by it. Like they're just their entire own entity in terms of like managing, you know, their instrument, you know, making sure that like tension and tightness and excitement doesn't affect the way they sound. Um, but then after they've, you know, accomplished that, they still work so well with the band and create just such an, an incredible experience. Um, I know they have many other songs with lots and lots of views. I picked this one in particular because it was live and you guys know I love a live performance and they sound incredible live. So that was very exciting to see. So yes, um, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching with me and for this recommendation and hopefully I will see you next time.